All right, we're gonna get into our armadillos. We're gonna have a coach and an athlete. You're gonna notice these implements on the side here. It's not gonna be about the weight. A lot of the weight that we're using here is to keep your hands off of your neck and creating that position. What we got here is a, a plate. We got a 10 pound ball, about an eight pound freaking slam, and then a little Cassie's ball. All right, so Luke's gonna go ahead, he's gonna take our slam ball here about eight pounds, and you're gonna notice this is enough to challenge his position. What Luke's gonna do now is gonna start in dorsiflexion with his legs extended. He's gonna point his toes and his knees towards the ceiling. From here, he's gonna pull those knees into his chest. I don't wanna see those knees drive out or toes, full, toes going out. We want dorsiflexion, toes forward. Now he's gonna crunch, he's gonna bring his chin down to his chest and he's gonna take his elbows and he's gonna glue them to his knees. I, as a coach, am gonna stay in my athletic position because I need this space because his feet will feed through. All right, ready? All right, Luke is breathing, his eyes are open. He's focused on this cradle of pain. I'm pulling, pulling, this rep should last about five seconds and we're working towards Luke's balanced position on his glutes. From here, he's gonna extend his feet, toes forward, hands as far as he can. He's gonna to rotate to the right, take a breath, and then rotate towards the left. A clear separation of his shoulders from his feet, and he's gonna fight and control all the way down, one vertebra at a time. Good fight. All right, rep two, well, we're looking at some faults and setup. So Harry, come on over, what we're gonna do is plant our flexion. We need dorsiflexion. And notice his knees are driving out. Really internally rotate Luke. I want you to find a neutral position. All right, from here, he's gonna tuck his chin. Luke, go ahead and look towards the sky. Notice we lost that head position. We need to really, really exaggerate tucking that chin in. Think double chin. All right, keeping his elbows glued. Now I'm gonna pull through. Luke, focus, focus, breathe. I'm looking at his face to see if it turns red, fighting for this position. Again, going four or five seconds, but it's more about the position than the time. All right, on the extension here, we need a clear separation of shoulders and hips. Fault is gonna be elbow, heels on the ground. Fault is gonna be caving forwards. Now I'll give you a big twist as far as you can to one direction. Notice his feet went this way. I need him to keep straight right here. Give us one good separation loop, then we'll go down. All right, fighting down, don't just collapse, don't just collapse. You see how he collapsed and he lost the leg position. Also a fault. All right, we'll just give you one more rep here, Luke, where we're gonna go, and I want you to notice failure. There's a difference between faults and failure. I need to be a good coach and provide specific directions to keep them in a good position. Effort is one thing, but we need effort in the correct positions. So Luke's gonna fight here, all right. Effort, fa failure, failure, we're gonna see those, those elbows separate from his knees. I'm gonna pause and hold position, talk to my athlete, get glued, get glued, let's go. Come on, Luke, fuck. We're not gonna, we're not gonna stop, we're not gonna stop. We're gonna go reset, get in a good position, and I'm gonna coach him up, I need a fight, Luke, let's go. Maintain dorsiflexion, get him glued, get him glued, come on, work, work, get him there. Get him glued, get him glued. All right, extension, fight for good rep. Notice clear separation of shoulders, his feet are staying in a good position, and he's fighting all the way down. The best of his abilities versus a quit. We don't want to quit. All right, following this isometric pull, we're gonna go into a dynamic movement. Luke set up his universal athletic position. We're gonna really push off that back arch and explode through. It's not about the press in here, it's about the hips. He's really finding that arch on his bottom foot, Tips, but it starts on his foot position on the ground. Notice he's in a universal athletic position, toes forward, knee over the arch of the instep, and we're using that to push like we're going to change directions and sprint. One more. All right, rep schemes fail. Could be two, could be three, could be four, could be eight. We need you to fail on these, so find your mark and then do more than you did yesterday. That's going to be success in this as long as we are maintaining a good position, like this. All right.